Espencroft says no. Mantra. This is the Alpha R Par AS3394, and this is a complete analog synth on a chip. Inside here, you have almost everything you need to make a single voice analog synth. You have um, waveforms, VCO, filters, VCF, pulse width modulation. And if you add an envelope and some LFO, which can be done in software and is usually done in software on analog flagship synth these days, you have everything you need to make a um, fully polyphonic synthesizer. I paid $7 for this chip. With eight of these, we have $60 worth of uh, analog polyphonic synthesizer bliss. Chips like these have been used ever since the early 80s. Sequential themselves used chips like this in their six track. Oberheim used chips like this in the Matrix 6 and Matrix 1000. So this is nothing new, having uh, almost all the electronics you want in a single chip. Can someone explain to me why a analog flagship synth today has to cost $4,000 or more? Espencroft says no. No analog flagship synth should cost $4,000 or more. It should cost way less. Look at how Behringer are able to use chips like this uh, in their synths for a fraction of the price. Espencroft says no. Can someone explain to us why a flagship analog synth today should cost $4,000 or more? Is it the wood chicks that are made out of pure gold inside? Tell us and please talk to us as we were five-year-olds or golden retrievers. Please enlighten us why a flagship synth should cost $4,000 or more analog or digital. Espencroft says no. Espencroft says no. Repeat after me, Espencroft says no. This is now my mantra, mantra. for 2025. Espencroft says no. I'm Espencroft and you're not. Happy New Year.